Welcome back to Brian Basketball. This is going to be a little tribute to Kobe. Do y'all know it's his birthday? It would be his 43rd. Stand next to the man that that made it all happen, really, for the guys. If it wouldn't have been, Michael led the way, guys. Kobe followed suit and really did a great job. You know, if if Kobe was still here, I would probably say that it was going to be uh, LeBron, Magic Johnson, and Kobe that will own the Lakers. But I'm thinking it's probably just going to be LeBron and Magic Johnson that's going to end up taking the reins before it's all said and done, once the bus family is done and everything. But uh, anyway, let's just jump over to our Comp C update, huh? Yeah, happy birthday. Sing it, Stevie. Yeah. Let's jump over here. Let's go ahead and sign in. I don't know. If we got anything going on. No notifications. We hadn't sold anything over here. I hadn't purchased anything. Everything's still the same here. Well, this is going to get kind of boring on this one, huh? Well, let's see. Uh eBay? Uh, no. Well, what we got going on over here? Oh, I've been outbid on some stuff. Yeah, I was bidding on some stuff. Look at there. See that? I was going to buy some more of them suckers. I looked over that pack right there and it was going for $50, guys. Those who might have bought one from me, I tried to combine the shipping with him. I wonder if it's still for sale. 18 hours. I'm going to get these things graded. This thing hadn't been messed with. This is a steal of a deal. I don't know if it has a LeBron, but it might have a Dwayne Wade, or it might have a Chris Bosh, or it might have a cartoon card, or it might have uh, one of the many things that these, card, these packs have in them, man. That's why I bought so many of them. I loved them. I mean, they have jersey cards in there, but they're not numbered or anything like that. But, man. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, I don't need to spend any time on that. Uh, oh, you know what we could really do? Um, maybe tomorrow night. I'd like to go in there and check to see if any of my sales from Comp C, they're still graded. Now, these two, oh, got three. All these were scanned. Let's see, we got those three scanned, so that one's graded. Three scanned. These should be coming back pretty soon. They were scanned on the 15th. <laughs> uh, that's about, what, uh, 10 days. 10 business days, maybe. Nine business days. Well, they started over. Only 300 people. Here it is. Remember when y'all were opening up at 4.30 and I was having to take time to get in your lottery? Tim, or Taylor, <laughs> Taylor hit, look, dude, that's what's happened, yeah, man, ah, I love the slabs, though, guys, golly, I, I, no one's talking them up, I can tell you that, uh, me and maybe one other channel, you know, and there's a few people that have their cards there are just scared to death, and I, I am kind of too, man. Y'all know what I have there. I mean, look at that. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal's. You know, rookies. LeBron's. Kobe's. Allen Iverson's. My. That's that 27, man. There's another Shaquille rookie. There's Kobe. Kobe, Michael, 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 LeBron, LeBron, Ray Allen. Yeah, I'm concerned too. But you know what? I know that they're going to be worth more than $20, but I don't know if they're going to be worth as much as the PSA holder. But you know what? I'm thinking about listing them as a buy now instead of the auction. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to lose a whole bunch of money on these cards doing any kind of uh, 
experiments. You know, I, I know that they're getting looked at. And now it's just to find the price that everyone's willing to pay for them. You know, and if it's 80% of what PSE, PSA is at the, uh, the same grade, I know mine are authentic. That was a big thing that Ken Golden pushed and all, all those other ones pushed back on me talking about HGA is that they're not authenticating the cards. Well, you know that there there is... I watched during that debacle and all that other political stuff that happened this last year, them talking that they have a scanner that can look at paper quality and find out where that paper was actually made. Has no one even thought about that? Having a company say, hey, we can guarantee it because the fibers on that card come from the same fibers as all them other cards. But who's willing to take that chance who's willing to step up to the plate and say hey i've got a 10 or i've got a raw i tell you they can buy raws all day you know if you if you if we want to cut down on any kind of of uh, shenanigans as far as reprints or stuff like that that's what the hobby's going to get to we might not like it we might not want to see it coming but we probably have to get the cards certified that they are the cards or you know what i saw myself pull them from the packs <laughs> i know i pulled all my cards i don't need to have them authenticated they're they're authentic to me and that's all that matters you know i opened up the boxes so so be it we'll see what happens i appreciate y'all stopping by and there's seven minutes coming by right at you and cowboys keep them Pistols fire